What's up everyone? It's Chris Rung here and we are at Kuntong, Hong Kong which is a far east side of Kowloon side and we are going to try best delicious cheap street food that you must try when you're in Hong Kong. So yeah, let's go! And also, my brother Mike will be joining me today. Hello. What's up, man? Nothing's up. I'm gonna bring you to some delicious uh, Kuntong snacks. Are you excited for that? It's a little bit early for snacks, but yeah. I'm hungry, man. This is way in the morning. We're, we're, we, we haven't even had a breakfast yet, so yeah. it's gonna be awesome. So, Mike, where are we gonna go first? Okay, first we're gonna go to a traditional siu shop in Kuntong. I heard it's the number one, so we're gonna go check it out. It's cheap, it's good, and it's been open for quite a long time. So let's go. So guys, we are now at the first shop. That's the place oh. name. We... Oh, and there's one thing we need to tell you guys. We both know how to speak Cantonese, but we don't know how to read up on the menu. So let's see how we can tackle this today. But that's the place name you can see right there. And we're gonna try it. That's the uh, see my place, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we got this siu mai and what do we have here? We, we, we have the fish <coughs> flavored which has a little bit bits of shrimp and we have the pork siu mai which contains pork and mushrooms. How much you, is it? Uh, it's basically one dollar, one, one, one point one, one dollar and ten cents for one. For one. Actually, not it's, bad at all. It's not bad. You can't find a dollar siu mai anymore in Hong Kong. Not anymore. Not anymore, right? And, and also with real meat. With the real meat. Yeah, yeah. So you got fish and pork. Fish and pork. Okay. So let's let's give it a go. All right. All right. Try the pork first. How? Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. I want the soy sauce and chili sauce. Hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It does contain meat. You can taste it. Yeah. Basically, you assume you have it in dim sum, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, in, in the people in Hong Kong, they can they can eat it as a breakfast or lunch, and uh, yeah, it, it's suitable for any time. But this one is really good. This shop is quite popular. That so, if you really do want to come by and uh, get some, come before um, 3 p.m. or it'll, it'll, it'll run out. Yeah, last time we get here, um, four. Yeah, it was around that hour time. It was closed already, right? If I, the first time we come here it was closed, and second time when we get here, the line was like over. Okay, so <laughs> we were disturbed by the security guard earlier. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, we were at the park that said we can't take a video. Um, uh, that doesn't make sense. But anyway, let's back to the siu mai. We did say that we have uh, fish and pork, right? So, uh, my personal favorites are the pork siu mai because um, I don't really like uh, what's that called? The fishy smell. In Cantonese, they say the saying may, right? Anyway, you guys should come and try. Yeah, guys, go definitely give a try. Um, yeah, this is, I will link, uh, link down the addresses at the video below. And uh, go check it out. Then we're gonna go to your next place. Yeah. So Mike, we are at the second location. Yeah. And what would what are we gonna get? We're gonna get that. So I only know how to say the white bun burger, but I'm not sure how, how I'm gonna explain it. <laughs> Alright, give it a go. Okay. Uh, so you wanna try the tree? Yeah. We ordered the bread with the meat, but the lady shop owner says also introduced we need to try the I think it's salsa bang. Salsa bang, but Sao -sao. I saw that bag. <laughs> it's basically a pancake. It looks like a purple color pancake butter. It says uh, it's uh, what? Uh, sweet potato flavor? Sweet potato flavor. Uh, yeah. No wonder the color explains it. Let me show it to you guys what they're cooking. Yeah, yeah, it's so cooking. Yeah, now you can finally give it a go. I'm trying the, I think this one is chicken. Yeah. All right. 
and Mike's gonna try the pork one. Pork. Yeah. Unfortunately, they were sold out for lamb, so we couldn't buy lamb. But instead, I heard that was the best one. Yeah, that's the best one. We definitely need to come back and try. Instead, we got this. Uh, Cao Zhao Bang. Cao Zhao Bang. Uh, the outside is made of sweet potato. Inside, some eggs, um, salad sauce, sausage, etc. All right. Uh, let's go. I give it. A... You wanna go first, yeah? Taste first, yeah. Let's do it. I've tried this in China before. Yeah. But over there is spicy. Over here is more of a sour side. Sour. Yeah. Inside they have some um, pickled radish. Right. Uh, I can taste the pickled radish or, or cabbage. It's refreshing. Definitely. It's quite good actually. I didn't think it was gonna be this good. All right. Well, let me try the the chicken one. I think this is like a dry chicken, like a like a, like pork pork or something yeah. like that, but in chicken. Flake. Yeah, chicken flakes, very crunchy, a little bit on the dry side, but I know got a little bit of a seaweed on there mm. and sesame, and a little bit sweet as well. Is it like the the rice but, topping, Japanese rice topping? Yeah, sort of like that, but it's not bad. It's not bad. The flavor is nice. I got the. Got herbs into it, but I can't tell what exactly it is. Could be a little bit of cumin, but overall, it was good. Let's exchange it. Let me try the pork one. I did try the chicken one just now. How was it? What do you think? To be honest, first bite I thought it was kind of candy. <laughs> <laughs> the texture is the same, like it melts in your mouth. Yeah. It's crunchy as well, and it's, it's more on the sweet side. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, I feel like a little bit dry as well, because yeah. there's no sauce. My per personal per preference for this is that it should be a little bit spicy, I think. So let me try mine, uh, the pork one. It's totally different. Mm. Yeah, you can taste the pickled cabbage and uh, radish inside. Mm. Definitely. This one is more... Um, Refreshing? Yeah. yeah, it's a good one. I'm going to try this pancake now. So it's all bang. Bang. Look at the inside. It got a fried egg. Got a, I think it's a sausage, Chinese sausage, corn, and then the uh, the sauce is uh, salad sauce. what's that? Salad sauce. Salad sauce. Salad churn, right? Look at this flake. Yeah. Mm. Sweet potato is healthy. Sounds crispy as well. Uh huh. All right, first bite. Mm. This is it. This is what we would like to eat in the breakfast. Pancakes, sauces, eggs, and corn. Perfect breakfast. As you guys may think, why are you sharing food like this in times of COVID? Do not worry, I'm fully vaccinated. Oh, there's definitely the winner between these two. In this tree, Go for that's this. it, right? Yeah, that, that's the winner. Great flavor, not dry, perfectly balanced. The corn helps. Mm. Sweet and savory, nice. So we just finished with that meal, and now we're gonna go to a next place. Which one is it this time? Uh, it's a hot dog shop. Um, they sell. You'll have to see the menu to okay. know what I'm talking about. All right. So sunny out here today. Really hot. Super hot. All right, guys. We just end up in a Michelin star snack shop in Kuntong, yeah. and uh, they do this amazing, I think, spicy uh, fish ball. And also, they have uh, different types of uh, other snacks as well. But so we're just gonna try their signature dish. One is this is called a uh, extra spicy uh, fish ball, and then the other one would be uh, chicken. chicken leg. Mike said that he had tried it before and. Is it spicy, right? Yeah, it is spicy because uh, they're quite famous for their sauce and they do sell it separately for $68 per uh, small jar of uh, chili. And if you have a spice tolerance, maybe it's okay for me. I'm not so good with spice. That's why we have this backup right here. Nasty. Nasty. Okay. It's not so bad. I actually told them uh, less spicy. 
you already need to be careful of this is the spice comes late from the back <laughs> well I see that my brother reaction uh, doesn't seem to be that good but uh, this is already shula meaning it's uh, less spicy less spicy shula okay let me do that not bad it's sweet it's sweet yeah it comes after oh yeah, oh, yeah. it comes after <laughs> satay flavor yeah the satay is yeah satay sweet flavor and then spice comes spice comes after that <laughs> okay I think, uh, they are famous but, but it's okay it's, it's, it's not that you can't handle it but if you go like maybe too much the middle is spicy yeah try right, one more you know when it's spicy you're gonna take another one right away because you wanna you wanna sweat <laughs> keep on keep on the spicy lid in that mirror once it stop you'll feel more spice yeah but it's a good one it is good it's quite tasty and it's pretty expensive as well i think it's 12 dollars Twelve dollars for six piece. For six piece, yeah. Yeah, and also it's a Michelin star snack. So with this price, I think it's it's reasonable. It's reasonable. Yeah. That thing is actually looks bigger than your head, compared to. It is big. Oh. But what is it? Is it what, what kind of sauce is on the top? This is soup, as long as I can remember it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it's mixed with mushroom, ham, carrot, etc. Okay. The taste. It's not fried chicken. <laughs> it tastes like um duck from Tassis Yokwa. For a moment I thought it was duck. And I'm still not sure. I'm still not sure if it's duck or chicken. <laughs> Alright, let me try. Let me try. To me, it's not chicken definitely. It's, it's either turkey. It could be turkey. Because it's huge. It's not turkey. You're yeah. right. It tastes like duck as well, yeah? No, I think it's, it is a duck. Oh, really? It's not chicken. And we thought it was chicken. Mm. The sauce is not bad. I don't know. This mushroom sauce on the top is gravy. It's like a gravy. It's, uh, mm. it's not bad. It's not bad. It's quite surprising. Yeah, it is, yeah. We already told you in the beginning. We don't know how to read in the menu, yeah. so we just order what looks good on the menu. So everything to us comes with a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> this is a surprise for us as well. So this is duck leg, and hence the reason why it is so big. Um, taste is it's quite good. It's good. Yeah, I like it. You guys know why it is called Michelin Star, and you can see all the Hong Kong artists. They have come and tried this place. I know this guy. This Indian guy is quite popular. All right, guys. We are now at our last destination. Yeah, this is called the Japlin Hot Dog Shop. Ooh. So they have best sellers here. The price is reasonable. The price is quite reasonable. Uh, I did try a couple of them. I tried the Aussie Dog. It's quite good and the taste is like uh, the bun, from the bun to the dog, everything is cooked quite, quite good. Alright guys, so we got ourselves a hot dog and this will be our last uh, street food off here in Kuntong. Yeah. So what do you got Mike? I got the cheesy dog, it's full of cheese. Oh my god, that's so much cheese. Love cheese. Love. And I got yeah. myself a chili, chili cheese hot dog. Okay. Yeah, let's let's give it a shot. Give it a shot. No, no, look at that. Look, look at, at this. this. Look at that. That that uh, like that sauce is it's huge. Look at this. I let it put it. It's too white. There it is. Okay. All right. Let's give it a try. Sure. Give it a taste. Oh damn. Mm. I like that car caravana sauce. Like the um, tomato sauce with cheese and the sauces and the spicy perfect combination in my hot dog this cheese dog is not 
normal as well. It got herbs, um, it got corn, and they're using mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese? Oh my. Yeah. So it tastes really milk, milky, really good. Oh man. I did have like some cheese dogs outside, mm -hmm. but they didn't go to this level. Let me tell you one thing. I don't know. I don't know how how the other YouTuber does this kind of a street food tour. Same shit. <laughs> we ate few places and we're already so full. I cannot imagine how they would eat. You know, for me it's like too much already. They eat there. They have buffet. They have this and that. I'm not sure if they have like uh, ten people at the back to finish the food after they eat. <laughs> okay, guys. That's about for the, our street food tour today. If you guys like the video, yeah, please like thumbs up, subscribe. subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so that's it for today. Yeah. All right, guys. Cheers. Bye. Until next time. Bye bye.